<sighs> but anyway, so then we moved on to the next time that Tony Schiavone was going to be in the ring to try to interview somebody. This time he got through most of it. It was with Darby Allen, who <sighs> Tony, uh, uh, you know, he's pro and next promo and next week. It's going to be Darby against Light Switch, Jay White. But then the question is, what's it going to be like in your career without Sting? And everybody knows, I made it plain last week after I saw what they did. I'm done with Darby Allen. He's beyond help. There's talent there. There's charisma there. There's opportunity there. And he's determined to waste all of it by being a stupid idiot. And he said, well, I said that I'd stop, and I talked about this at the top of the program. I said I'd stop at nothing to make sure Sting's retirement got the respect it deserved. Respect was an actual quote. That's why he stole all the attention, as I said at the top of the show. We talked about that business. And then he said he's going to wrestle next week against Jay White, and then he's going to leave March 27th to go climb Mount Everest. And there's no guarantee, folks, that I'll come back alive. And, you know, again, if if somebody was working and, you know, trying to build up danger and intrigue and mystery and interest in something that we were going to be able to pay to fucking see or be involved in or somehow is going to magnify the value of the company that he's working for, I can see it, but there really is no guarantee that this idiot's going to come back alive from being an amateur trying to climb Mount Everest. So therefore, Tony Khan is letting him come out here, not only try to commit suicide on his pay-per-view, but then he said, there's no guarantee I'm going to come back alive, but if next week is my last match, I'm going to go out fighting. And he's telling the truth. And I bet you Tony would pay the balance of Darby Allen's contract to his next of kin if he didn't make it off Mount Everest because Tony is a sap like that. So Darby does the promo, and I was right as I was about to say, can somebody please put him on some kind of involuntary hold for a few days? Jay White came out with the guns and it got worse because Jay White speaking is deaf and they let him and it goes on forever. And I don't know whoever told him it was interesting or to the point or delivered with conviction, but it's just blithering around the bush. They had that guy beat the AEW champion when MJF held the belt. <sighs> well... If you went, that's another reason why Tony's fucking statistics don't work with the numbers and everything. Because if you go back and look at the way he treated some people last year that he's trying to get us to buy his main eventers this year, you'd come up with different ideas. So Jay White gave Darby the chance to back out of the match and join the bang, bang, scissor gang bangers as Darby scissor hands and nobody cared in the audience and Darby responded and nobody cared in the audience because they had already been bored to fucking tears. And as we know, there were only 3,200 ticket holders and we don't know that all of them came. So as they were, as they lost people to disinterest and attrition, it was getting quieter. How many times have we seen this too in AEW in five years? No, 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 I don't have a problem with you. I want you to join my faction. <laughs> Why? We've already got to rent two cars, but we want another. So then the way that this confrontation came to an end was Darby whispered something to Jay White and stuck the bat into Jay White's neck, and Jay White acted like that there was glue on the end of the bat and he couldn't just back up one half a step and pull his fucking chin off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> and Darby said, he, did you see that? I didn't think of it that way. I saw it, but the, fucking we, bat. the way he you lay it out is... He stuck the bat in his neck and suddenly <laughs> Jay White couldn't just go poop and just take it off his neck. Or his friends right next to him. And his, and his two friends were right next to him, uh, to him allowing him to be... Uh, stuck to a bat and Darby said I'll see you next week <laughs> and that was all that happened 
They have to do that now. A bat covered in glue match. <laughs> We're not going to hit you with the bat. We're going to stick it to you. <laughs> oh, golly. <laughs> I don't know. All, all these all these people got me running around like Vic Morrow. I don't know. Oh, come on. But That's anyway, not even funny. So, That's awful. Awful. Uh, I wonder who came up with it. But anyway, 